And now I'm going to discuss the cost credit system. The cost credit system is the standard used to assess students in the university, either the undergraduate, at the bachelor's, or at the postgraduate level, that is for master's and PhD. In Nigeria, we have the cost credit system. We are adopting the five point grading system. There was a time we adopted the four point grading system, but eventually it was changed back to the five point grading system. So the grading system goes like this. We have the letter grade, then we have the marking score, and then we have the grade point. The grading system is operated as follows. A is 70 to 100 with a grade point of 5. B is 60 to 69 with a grade point of 4. C is 50 to 59 with a grade point of 3. D is 45 to 49 with a grade point of 2. E is 40 to 44 with, with a grade point of 1. F is 0 to 39 with a grade point of 0. So I'll quickly discuss some terms related to the cost credit system. We have the credit unit. Credit unit is the number of hours dedicated to lecture in a week. For one credit unit, it's one hour. In a semester, you have 15 weeks. That takes 15 hours in a semester. For two credit units, it's 30 hours in a semester. That is two hours in a week. Three credit units is 45 hours in a semester. That is three hours in a week. Then we have the grade point. Grade point is determined by the raw score of the students, as earlier described. Then the grade point average. That is the average of the grade point of the student in a semester. Actually, it is the sum of the quality points all over the total credit unit. And the quality point is calculated as credit unit times the grade point. While the cumulative grade point average is the sum of the quality points all over the sum of the credit units over a period of more than one semester. Now quickly, let me say this, that this cumulative grade point average determines the class of degree on graduation. So if your cumulative grade point average is between 4.50 and five you're on first class between 3.50 and 4.49 you are on second class upper so between 2.40 and 3.49 you are on second class lower between 1.50 and 2.39 you are on third class and between 1 and 1.49 is a past degree below one is fail. How do we calculate CGPA? We we'll first of all start by calculating the GPA. Let's take the example of Adamu Chijoke Mustafa, a 100 level student in the BSc Geography program. His first semester result goes thus. GEO 101, three credit units. He scored a C. The grade point is three. So the quality point will be grade point times credit unit, which is three times three, which will give you nine. For GU103, a three credit unit cost is called A, giving you quality point of 15. Then GU105 is called A, with a quality point of 15. GU107 is called a B, with a quality point of 12. GU109 is called a B, with a quality point of 12. Then GN101 is called an A with a quality point of 10 because it's a two credit unit cost. Then ENT101, a two credit unit cost, is called a B, giving him the quality point of 8. The total credit unit is 19. The total quality point is 81. So 81 over 19 will give you 4.26. So his GPA for first semester 100 level is 4.26. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share with others. Let this knowledge be shared wide because it is not every time you have the privilege or most of the times, 
Students do not get the proper orientation or sometimes they do not care. And once that happens, what you are going to get is that before you know what is happening, your result is messed up. In second semester, GEO 101, a three credit unit course, he scored a B, giving him the quality point of 12. GEO 104, he scored an A, giving him the quality point of 15. 106, he scored a C, giving him quality point of 9. 108, he scored a B, giving him the quality point of 12. 112, he scored a C, giving him the quality point of 9. Gen 102, he scored a B, giving him the quality point of 8, because it's a two-credit unit course. Gen 102, he scored a C, giving him the quality point of 6. PSC 101, it's a one-credit unit course, and he scored a B, giving him the quality point of 4. So his total credit unit is 20. His total quality point is 75. So 75 over 20 will give you 3.75. So his GPA for second semester is 3.75. The CGPA for the two semesters will be the total quality point for first semester plus the total quality point for second semester all over the total credit unit for first semester plus the total credit unit for second semester. That will be 81 plus 75 all over 19 plus 20 and that will give us 156 over 39 which will give us its, its CGPA of 4.0. So its CGPA at the end of second semester 100 level will be 4.0. Assuming he has a quality point of 86 and total credit unit of 18 in first semester 200 level, his GPA for first semester 200 level will be 86 over 18, which will give us 4.78. So his GPA at the end of first semester 200 level will be 4.78. However, we do not calculate CGPA by adding the GPAs of each semester. That would be wrong. We calculate by adding the total quality points semester by semester until the current semester of consideration all over total credit unit. So the CGPA for Adamo Chijoke Mustafa for first semester 200 level will be 81 plus 75 plus 86 all over 19 plus 20 plus 18, which will give us 242 over 57, which will give us 4.25. So the cumulative grade point average at the end of second semester will be 4.25. It is important that you learn to calculate your CGPA so that you can monitor your results. When there are mistakes, you can easily monitor it and raise complete before they become permanent features of your result. Thank you. Share, subscribe, and like this video. Have a pleasant day.